perfectionists and it goes the same with my riding I have to do it the very best that I can it's just how I am as a person and it comes through in all aspects of my life definitely a passion. That's why it's been so hard going through this brain injury because I can't, it's like a passion that I can't, it's like being a painter but my both my hands are, I only have a finger on each hand now, you know, it's like I can't paint like I used to but I can do it in my mind. So my, you know, <laughs> it's, it's hard. Like, I remember thinking all the stuff that I once took for granted, being a BMX rider, a pro BMX rider, a lot of stuff, because all the stuff I thought that I took for granted, just being a normal human being, was a lot of stuff. Relearning how to breathe, relearning how to chew, relearning how to, you know, do the simplest of things, and it's just wild, you know. One day you're fine, one day you're, one day you're hitting a 30 foot set of doubles and <laughs> you know, it's just nuts. Stuff can change so fast. I really, really got into like the East Coast style guys. Like, I saw Anthem and it just ended, dude. I saw Stopper ride, Chris Stopper. I just wanted to ride like that. And like, just that free, that, that look of how free it looked. I just wanted to ride with style after that. And it just hit me and hit me hard and I just, I didn't really practice it, but I let it happen naturally, you know? Cause I knew if you get it's something you practice, it's not gonna happen right. Baby and I 
and I didn't want to just copy flat out what people are doing. You know, I'm gonna add my touch to it, you know, like an artist would add their, their tweaks to things, you know, like you're not gonna just copy Van Gogh, you're not gonna copy Monet, you're not gonna just flat out do every, every flick of the wrist. And I think if you just follow your heart and follow your mind, that it'll happen the right way for you, you know? I've managed to be back to where I'm at right now because of I set that goal for myself. Like that's the reason I'm back to where I'm at. If I hadn't set that goal for myself, I'd who knows where I'd be, you know? Like they use me as an example to the other patients and try to get all the other patients all psyched up because I was, you know, came so far in such a short time and doing so well and whatever. So, yeah, if you don't set goals for yourself in life, you don't reach anything. A lot of the motivation was wanting to get back to where I was on a bike again. And a lot of it also was I wanted to play with my little boy. And a big part of it was the fact that you don't tell an Aiken that he can't do something. And all the doctors told me that I couldn't. You can't, you can't, you can't. I was like, you will fucking see that I can. The lesson I would like people to learn is that it doesn't matter how fast you're going. It doesn't matter how hard you hit your head. I've hit the back of my head hard as hell. Like hard, man. Like hard. And it doesn't matter. It really does only take once. So take joy in the small things in life because you just never know when it's gonna change.
things positive in the past. They're like, oh, I don't have this anymore. This sucks. Like, you know, God gives you, gives you things. He, he puts things on your plate that you need. So that's what I think. You can't, you can't dwell on the past and whatever. So 